So, welcome again uh, in my course power electronics application in power system. In my last lecture, I discuss uh, uh, or I started discussion uh, on this uh, a special type of power electronic compensator, uh, which is usually sand connected uh, compensator and uh, it is a power electronic based and it is named as static bar compensator. And I also discussed that the static bar compensator is not a single kind of device, it consists of a family of similar kind of compensators. And uh, then I, I started discussion on a specific type of static bar compensator which is named as thyristor control reactor or TCR in short. Now, what is TCR? In TCR we have a uh, bidirectional switch and uh, this is connected to a reactor and this is connected all together to a particular bus uh, wherever we are intended to locate it. Okay. And if you look at this uh, my last lecture, I discuss the basic operating principle. I also discuss this uh, voltage and current waveform under different types of switching conditions. And I, as I said, there are three different types of switching possible. One is of uh, the switches can be fully turn on or can be fully turn off or can be partially turn on. Okay. So, when the switches are of partially turn on, then we have this voltage current relationship which is de uh, derived in this particular page and you can see that this current waveform that is I of t when this uh, switches are of partially turn on are not sinusoidal rather they are of distorted sinusoidal. So, when some signal is distorted sinusoidal then we need to uh, have the harmonic analysis. Okay. And in my last lecture, I also derived uh, or I also have shown you how to derive the fundamental component of the this I of TCR. What is I of TCR? This I of TCR is basically representing the fundamental current uh, drawn by this TCR okay, when it is connected to a particular bus of a power system. Now, uh, this is the fundamental current and this figure shows you if we uh, vary this firing angle alpha, how this particular uh, fraction uh, which is function of this firing angle alpha is varying. Okay. So, uh, this fundamental current will vary according to this alpha. So, you can see it is function of this alpha and uh, it will vary according to the uh, firing angle. Okay. So, if we vary the firing angle. So, fundamental component of this TCR current will vary. So, as the uh, other types of harmonics which exist in, in this TCR current, this will also vary. Now, so therefore, uh, in today's lecture, I primarily discuss uh, this, this harmonic characteristics of uh, TCR. In particular, I will discuss uh, how this three phase TCR look like and their harmonical behavior. So, in this particular lecture, we will discuss harmonic behavior harmonic behavior of TCR. Okay. So, as I have uh, shown you that uh, the main reason of this harmonic current is the uh, partially turn on condition of the switch of the TCR. Okay. And this is I explained in the last lecture as well. Now, we, we need to uh, uh, find out what would be the harmonic current uh, that would exist in this TCR when it is operated as a partially conducting mode. Okay. So, this, this harmonic current harmonic current expression can be written as can be written as I of n alpha is equal to V divided by omega L multiplied by 
4 divided by pi multiplied by sin alpha cosine n of alpha minus n cos alpha sin n alpha divided by n multiplied by n square minus 1 ok where n is equal to 2 k plus 1 ok and k is equal to 1 2 3 and all this positive integer. So, if you put uh, k is equal to 1 2 3 then what would be this n values. So, it would be 3, it will be 5, it will be uh, 7 and so on. Okay. So, you can see all this odd order harmonics will exist in TCR current. When it uh, this uh, harmonics will exist when the TCR would be operated in partially conducting mode. And uh, this this partial conducting mode is the main control uh, action that we can take uh, in, in a particular TCR. So, what we need to do is that we, we need to uh, take care of or we need to mitigate the sum of this harmonics. Otherwise, uh, this this uh, the presence of this TCR will distort the line current wherever it will be placed. Okay. So, there should be some mitigation devices as well with this TCR who can which can mitigate that some of the dominant harmonics. Okay. So, in order to mitigate this dominant harmonics, we, we will also see this how this three phase TCR is constructed and uh, taken care of. So, here we will also discuss that three phase TCR. So, in the last example, in the last lecture, whatever I discuss that is uh, this, this TCR is of a single phase type. Now, as you know our power system is essentially of three phase. So, we need a three phase TCR and three phase TCR is constructed uh, keeping in mind uh, this, this harmonic mitigation as well. Okay. Now, we have to see that how uh, different uh, order of harmonics uh, affect uh, this, this line current drawn by this TCR and uh, in which way we can mitigate them. Okay. Now, this TCR, this three phase TCR is constructed with, it, it consists of, consists of three identical identical single phase TCR, single phase TCR. Okay. So, three phase TCR consists of three identical uh, single phase TCR and one the single phase TCR will look like this. This is a single phase, this is what a single phase TCR. Okay. So, we need uh, three this type of identical three phase TCR to construct a three phase TCR and whenever this uh, three phase TCR is constructed, we also keep in mind uh, the mitigation of harmonic as well to some extent. Okay. So, uh, usually this uh, three identical single phase TCR are connected three identical single phase TCR are connected in delta. Okay. In delta, uh, there is a specific purpose of keeping its uh, construction as a delta, I will come to that. Okay. And uh, apart from that, so each reactor is splitted 
into two halves to prevent full AC voltage appearing across the thyristor switches ok. Now, uh, whenever this 3 page uh, TCR is constructed, one uh, thing we keep in mind that we need 3 identical single page TCR unit and they are connected to be delta and uh, in, in unlike this uh, single page TCR, uh, this single line diagram which I have shown over here, uh, actually uh, the 3 page TCR uh, what it does is that it splits this reactor into 2 halves and keep it both side of this bidirectional switch. It is something like that. Let me draw this, it will be understood then. So, one single phase TCR look like this. This is a bidirectional switch. This is one half of the reactor. This is another half of the reactor. So, if this reactor reactance is x by 2, or if its inductance is let us say L by 2 uh, and then it, this will be also L by 2. So, that overall this uh, inductance of this reactor is L. Then this is one uh, for, for one particular uh, this TCR unit, then another TCR unit will be connected in delta with this like this. Here also this is uh, inductance of this reactor is L by 2, the inductance of this reactor is L by 2 as well and there is another single phase TCR like this. This is bidirectional switch, this is the inductor and the inductance are half of this and now these are connected to these three different phases. Okay. So, this is what this is where we have three page three page supply or the bus at which this three page unit is placed. Now, look at this single line diagram. So, this is basically Mm, uh, this this not single line diagram this is rather a configuration of a three phase TCR. So, configuration of of a three phase TCR unit. Now, here you can see this is a bidirectional switch that is all a bidirectional switch and this is a bidirectional switch. Okay. And they are uh, in different uh, this limbs of this delta connected uh, 3 phase TCR unit and this is one half of this reactance and this is another half of the reactance. So, basically the reactance is split into two halves to prevent the full AC voltage appearing any of this thyristor switch at any instant of time. Okay. And this is how the configuration of the 3 phase TCR. Now, the question is why do we why do we connect the three identical TCR unit in delta? This is where we will try to find out that why this specific type of connection is, why not other type of connection uh, possible. There are other types of connection possible, but usually this configuration is used. Uh, there is a specific reason. First of all, this three unit should be identical, so that this uh, 
whole TCR unit can act as a balanced uh, source of reactive power. Okay. Uh, it is not a balanced source, I should say it is a balanced sink of reactive power because it absor absorbs the reactive power from the system. Okay. So, if any unit is of different rating and uh, then the, the absorption of this uh, reactive power in all the three phases would be different. So, it will no longer be a balanced then. Okay. So, that is why we need three identical uh, TCR unit uh, to be connected. Now, the, uh, regarding the specific connection that is delta, why it is so, I will come to that. In order to understand that, we need to go for uh, harmonic analysis okay. and this is exactly is the goal of this lecture. Now, so as I said in this lecture, uh, this, uh, there are uh, three different types of harmonics exist in the TCR current and we will discuss some of the harmonics. Okay. So, let us start with, uh, let us start with this uh, third uh, harmonics uh, where n is equal to 3. Okay. So, let us start with third harmonics. Now, how this third harmonics uh, behaves? Uh, suppose at uh, any instant of time the the current drawn by this three uh, because you know that uh, this this configuration is drawing certain amount of current suppose this point is a this point is b and this point is c then this unit which is uh, connecting this point a and b suppose it is uh, drawing a current at any instant of time is a b i a b of t okay. and uh, this unit which is connecting this point b and c suppose it is drawing a current which is represented by i b c of t okay. and uh, this is drawing a current of i c a of t. Okay. So, look at this uh, representation they, this current I am representing in uh, uh, the small letter. So, it and it is uh, these are time dependent. So, these are instantaneous current only. Okay. Now, we will analyze uh, and as you understand that this I, I A B T, I B C T and I C A T, these are not perfectly sinusoidal if we operate the switches in partial conducting mode. Right. Now, when it happens, so we, we need to uh, understand that there are some harmonics. So, we, we will try to understand the pattern of the harmonics and how this harmonics fundamental behavior are. Okay. Now, to do so, let us start with this triplen harmonics or third harmonics. Okay. We call it also triplen harmonic. Okay. It is a kind of triplen harmonic. Now, suppose at any instant of time, this uh, third harmonic is represented by I A B 3 this uh, uh, subscript C is representing the triplen harmonic, this is of T. Okay. Now, suppose it is represented by I 3 cos 3 omega t plus phi 3, where phi 3 is the phase angle difference, this phi 3 uh, can be negative, it is in fact is negative. Okay. Then uh, this I B C 3 of t would be equal to i 3, i 3 is the peak value of this uh, instantaneous current cosine 3 omega t plus phi 3 minus 3 multiplied by 2 pi by 3. Now, as you know that uh, this, this fundamental component of 3 single phase unit, they are uh, separated by uh, 2 pi by 3 angles. Okay. So, this is known to us for a balanced source and if we have a balanced load or in fact, we consider that this is a balanced load, then, uh, uh, then uh, this volt, uh, this current drawn by the load will uh, uh, lag uh, some angle and uh, each of the current on different phases will be uh, 2 pi divided by 3 
uh, angles apart to each other for fundamental component. Okay. When it is a third uh, harmonics, so they are 3 multiplied by 2 pi by 3 angles separated. So, when you have so, so this becomes this I B C 3 T becomes identical or equal with I A B 3 T. Okay. Similarly, I C A 3 T would be equal to I of 3 cosine 3 omega t plus phi by uh, phi phi 3 where phi 3 is the angle which is the separating uh, or which is the angular difference between the voltage and the current drawn by this TCR and this is plus or minus 3 multiplied by 4 pi by 3 either it you can make it plus and multiplied with 3 2 pi by 3 pi, or you can uh, make it minus 3 multiplied by 4 pi by 3. both the results will be same now this will be also identical with this i a b 3 so so what we find he, over here is that this third harmonic current R currents are equal and in same phase ok. So, that is that this analysis gives us that this I A B 3 I A B 3 of T is equal to I B C 3 of T is equal to I C A 3 of T. So, when it is so, then we can comment like this that third order harmonic, uh, third har order harmonic current are equal and they are in same phase. When it happens, uh, so then we this, this currents are of additive. So, thus, thus they are additive. Okay. So, that is they are additive. So, when they are additive, uh, we can uh, make a specific connection to confine it and that is exactly done by this delta connected circuit. So, this delta connection is primarily done to, to keep this uh, third order harmonics or any triple n order harmonics to be confined within this uh, delta limb and this line current will be free from this triple n link. Okay. So, the three phase TCR unit is usually of delta connected connected to keep the third harmonic harmonic current confined in it. So, line is free from the third harmonic current ok and this will be true for any triple n harmonics uh, or any any harmonic which is of order of multiplied by 3. So, this will be uh, this will happen for third harmonics, the ninth harmonics and so on. Okay. So, uh, so we can uh, uh, take the mitigation uh, process to uh, avoid the triple n harmonics which uh, may appear in the current uh, line current by uh, constructing this three phase TCR as a delta connected uh, uh, system. Then let us go for this next order harmonics which is of fifth harmonic. So, similar to this if we consider that I A B 5 of T, it is representing the instantaneous fifth order harmonic of any particular limb of this, this delta connected TCR unit. Then let us represent it by in similar way 
I of 5, it is the peak value of this, this particular current multiplied by cosine 5 omega t plus 5 5 where 5 5 is the phase angle difference between this current with the uh, this similar order voltage. Okay. Now, this I B C 5 t will be equal to I of 5 cosine 5 omega t plus 5 5 because we have considered identical uh, 3 uh, TCR unit and we also need to have this identical this firing angle control of this all these 3 TCR unit then we will have this which will be equal to 5 multiplied by 2 pi by 3 ok and not this this and this I C A 5 of T will be equal to I of 5 cos 5 omega T plus 5 5 minus 5 multiplied by 4 pi by 3. Okay. Now, if you do this calculation, then you will be arriving at this is equal to I 5 I 5 cosine 5 omega t plus 5 5 minus 4 pi by 3 and this is I 5 cosine 5 omega t plus 5 5 minus 2 pi by 3. You, you try this, this you, you split this uh, 5 multiplied by 2 by 5 by 3 and then you do this uh, uh, further simplification you will come up with this and similarly if you do this you will come up with this. Now, what we can see over here is an interesting fact that here uh, this I B C 5 and I C A 5 they are uh, basically interchanging the phases the phase sequence as compared to the fundamental current. Okay. So, that is why we, we call it the negative. So, this is this is a negative sequence harmonic. Harmonics. Why it is a negative sequence harmonics? Because these two currents they are these two phases these two currents exchange their phase their phases. So, that is why it is a negative sequence harmonic and this will be true for all this 6 p plus fifth order harmonic and this will be true for all this 6 p plus fifth order harmonic. where p is equal to 0, 1, 2, etcetera. So, that means, uh, this will be happens to be true for fifth order harmonics. Then, if you put uh, p is equal to 1, then it will be 11th order harmonics and if you put p is equal to 2, then it will be uh, the 17th order harmonic and so on. So, these harmonics are will be similar in nature and they are of negative sequence harmonics. So, we cannot do immediate mitigation uh, procedure uh, like this third order or triple order harmonic, but what we need to do? We need to mitigate this harmonic and we should have uh, some mitigation uh, technique which can uh, suppress this, this harmonic current and then we will see that uh, this needs to be uh, to have a uh, filter uh, which could should be designed to mitigate this order harmonics, specifically this higher order harmonics. So, that that uh, uh, total harmonic distortion should be within the limit. Okay. Then we will go for next order harmonic which is of this seventh order harmonic.
Now, in 7th order harmonic, if we analyze then I B 7 of T is equal to if we write it as a I of 7 cosine 7 omega T plus phi 7, where this phi 7 is the angular difference, it, it is negative in fact, then this I B C 7 of T is equal to I of 7 cosine 7 omega t plus phi 7 minus 2 pi by 3 multiplied by 7. Similarly, I C A 7 of t is equal to I of 7 cosine 7 omega t plus phi 7 minus 4 pi by 3 multiplied by 7. And if you simplify these two, then what we will get as uh, this will come out to be I of 7 cosine 7 omega t plus phi 7 minus 2 pi by 3 and this is I 7 cosine 7 omega t plus phi 7 minus 4 pi by 3. So, what you can see is that this phase difference between I A B and I B C is 2 pi by 3 and between I B C and I C is again 2 pi by 3 and uh, this is uh, similar to the fundamental component. So, what we can write? So, the phase sequence, the phase sequence of this order harmonics is similar to the fundamental current that is why we call it it a positive sequence positive sequence harmonics. So, uh, why we call it positive sequence harmonics? Because its uh, phase sequence is exactly similar to fundamental component. I hope that you understand what is phase sequence. Phase sequence means uh, the in the order uh, in which the uh, phase current or phase quantities are rotating. Okay? So, if we have three different phases named as A, B and C and if A rotates ahead of B and then uh, B rotates ahead of C, then of course, the phase sequence is A, B, C or uh, if it is, uh, it could be A, C, B as well, if uh, this, the, the rotation uh, will be in sequence of A, C, phase A in phase C and phase B. So, this is how, what the concept of phase sequence. So, here we have the positive sequence uh, harmonic uh, that is seventh other and uh, this the similar harmon similar order harmonics which are of 6 p plus 1 order actually this would be 6 p plus 5 and this is 6 p plus 1 order harmonics okay so, where p is equal to 1, 2, 3, etcetera. So, this similar uh, positive sequence harmonics uh, you can get with uh, if you put p is equal to 1 that is 7th harmonic, if you put p is equal to 2 that will be so 7th harmonic and then we will have 13th order harmonic, we will have 19th order harmonics, they will be similar this positive sequence harmonics. Okay. So, if I summarize the whole analysis that we, we cannot analyze all the different types of harmonics, but you can see that uh, we can categorize this harmonics either it could be this third order harmonics or it could be fifth order harmonic or it could be uh, seventh order harmonics and many different types of harmonic will follow either third order harmonic we call them uh, triblen harmonic 
or fifth order harmonic or seventh order harmonic. Okay. Now, uh, all odd harmonics would be present because as already told you uh, this, this current here you can see the specific nature of this uh, symmetry in this current harmonic current of the uh, this this uh, thyris, uh, this uh, TCR is drawing uh, will not uh, generate this any even order harmonic, but odd order harmonics would be present. So, what we need to do is we need to uh, have a specific device to suppress that. So, overall this now what we will do we need we need to design appropriate harmonic suppression devices and we know that uh, this this filter could be one of them okay so filter could be one of them now if we consider this harmonics all if we consider all this harmonic then the single line diagram of the equivalent circuit of the t three phase tcr will look like this so the single line diagram of 3 phase TCR unit with filter circuit it is as follows. So, it is something like that we have a connecting bus suppose this is the bus at which this uh, 3 phase TCR is to be connected and of course, uh, we need some step down transformer like this. Why we need step down transformer? Because uh, the one of the advantages of sun connected compensator is that uh, we can eventually step down the system voltage level to much lower voltage level and therefore, the sun connected device would be rated to much lower voltage as of the system voltage okay. and this step down transformer this is a step down transformer this is a step down transformer which acts as a this is a step down transformer which acts as a liaison between this uh, single phase TCR. Uh, this uh, 3 phase TCR and the bus at which this uh, uh, 3 phase TCR unit would be placed. Okay. Now, then what we will have? We will have uh, this a low voltage bus, this is high voltage bus, this is low voltage bus and then we will have this single phase TCR unit or single line diagram of a 3 phase TCR unit like this, this is L by 2, this is L by 2, this is also L by 2, this is bidirectional switch and this is not sufficient presentation of a 3 page TCR unit because we need some filter circuit in order to suppress this type of harmonic. So, we should also uh, represent single line diagram of a filter and this could be a LC filter like this or it could be any type of filter. This is a LC filter. Okay. So, this is basically this filter circuit uh, which is specifically designed to suppress some of the uh, higher order harmonics. So, that the current which is drawn by this TCR unit is free from the uh, harmonics that is uh, basically appearing because of the partial conduction mode of the switches. And this is what the uh, representation single line diagram representation of a three phase TCR unit. 
okay and the role of this step down transformer is to step down the voltage level suppose this bus voltage is 220 kb or maybe uh, this uh, 400 kb or maybe 765 kb as per the transmission level voltage in india but here this is a low voltage low voltage bus whose uh, voltage level will be much lower than this voltage level so that overall uh, this this uh, tcr unit so this is basically tcr unit and this is basically the filter unit both would be not much costlier okay so that is what the uh, idea behind this now one thing i should also tell that we represent this single line diagram uh, of a three page tcr unit along with this lc filter because of this uh, this harmonic current presence in this particular tcr and in, we need to suppress some of the harmonic currents but uh, we also need to understand that uh, in in uh, re actual representation in modeling of this tcr uh, is uh, something like uh, which represent this this fundamental current of this tcr unit so what we can uh, represent this this model of a uh, three page tcr is something like this the equivalent model three page tcr model is something like this this is what the bus at which uh, this tcr unit would be placed and this is a variable susceptance this is a variable susceptance whose susceptance value can be changed with by changing firing angle control of the thyristor okay so this is what the uh, simplified model this is a simplified simplified representation and we will solve many numerical problem considering this simplified representation okay now this btcr basically represents the this this uh, this overall susceptance of this tcr unit and it is variable because we can vary this susceptance by controlling the firing angle now when you represent this simplify when you will represent this we are ignoring the presence of step down transformer otherwise so this is without step down transformer now with step down transformer so with step down transformer the simplified representation representation of three page tcr unit is something like that we have a this is what the bus as uh, at which this uh, this tcr unit is to be placed this is a susceptance we will model that uh, this is a susceptance of the step down transformer this is represented by let us say b sigma so v sigma is representation of susceptance of the step down transformer okay and then we will be having the variable susceptance representation of the tcr so this is what b tcr so b tcr is the susceptance of the tcr unit many times we will we will represent this overall tcr with this simplified uh, model and we will we can solve uh, many numerical problems with this okay so this is what the the simplified model of tcr but of course you should understand that there are uh, you know lc filter also if you consider this lc filter so it will be something like here we will be having lc filter also so this is what the filter representation 
but as uh, this this uh, TCR unit is in parallel with this filter while uh, solving this mathematical uh, problem we can ignore even this filter uh, filter impedance or filter susceptance okay but this is how we can represent this uh, three phase TCR in a very simplified form with this we will uh, discuss the the control characteristics the dynamic characteristics of the TCR in in the next lecture and we will proceed further with this okay and uh, uh, this uh, would be the part of the next lecture and uh, uh, th this is the end of this today's lecture and uh, thank you very much.